coined by Dr. Alan Hynek in the 1970s. It's a noun. High strangeness. A quality of being peculiar, bizarre, or utterly absurd. This term is one that stood out to me a lot when I heard it. It was compelling to think that a criterion for potentially credible UFO sightings was high strangeness of the descriptions in the reports. Something about that resonated. It doesn't seem specific enough to be measurable, but there is something about a story that has a captivatingly strange feature to it. It seems as though it couldn't be made up. Or as some say, you can't write this stuff. It's so unique and unbelievable that it somehow registers as believable. I can't seem to shake this phrase. It seems to be so meaningful and interesting to me. I always think of the tone in the line from Inception when Leonardo DiCaprio says, Pay attention to the strangeness of the weather, the shift in gravity. I just heard the more full account of the seagull saving the pioneer's crops from the large black crickets back in the mid 1800s in the Salt Lake Valley. They described everything I had heard already of the story, plus some extras. And then the strange little detail. The seagulls ate the crickets until they couldn't eat any more, and then regurgitated them so they could eat more, intent on killing rather than eating. Quite contrary to what seems to be their natural programming. That kind of high strangeness took it from being a convenient story to being a very believable story for me. Strangeness does something to you. Evolutionarily, we are predisposed to rejecting or reacting negatively to strangeness of any kind, of someone looking different from us or behaving outside of our social norms. It's a red flag, and it kept us safe from other humanoids from different tribes when they were a threat 10,000 years ago. But what about right now? How about our ability to be something more than just driven by evolutionary responses? What about our appreciation for beauty found in differences? Can we become more accepting and therefore better equipped for a diverse world? Wouldn't that enable us to experience more with less fear and assist us in learning and expand our views? There's a novelty and excitement in seeing new places and especially meeting new people. I can't share the sentiment. I just feel it. I crave new humans. I frequently state that I just want to absorb people. Think of it now. How beautiful would things be if we could only open ourselves up to more cultural experiences and say with the same enthusiasm as the Andalusian boy, this isn't a strange place. This is a new place. Goodness, what a world we would have.